Okay, so uh, guys, uh, I'm so thankful for this. Uh, I am having a brief interview here with my brother Josh. Is is that your name? Yes. Yeah. Praise the Lord, brother Josh. And um, this is interesting. I would have you uh, here because of uh, the experience that you have shared with me, and um, I would just want to get a snippet of uh, of that. And so, for that reason, you might just probably introduce yourself and uh, and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Thank you, brother. Uh, I'm Josh Onamo from Migori, mm. and uh, I've accepted the truth. And uh, I heard that there is a meeting here at uh, uh, Ndiwa. But uh, uh, unlikely, I got no uh, fund to reach here. So it forced me to to journey on foot. Mm. So I I came from Migo, from Migori to at a place called Onasi mm. uh, on foot. Mm. And uh, it is along. Uh, uh, it, it, it is around. Uh, say uh, 80 kilometers from Migori to Olasi is not uh, near uh, it, it is not uh, it is not near so I be there for almost one week then there is also another brother who joined me from Migori and uh, we trek with him also from uh, uh, from Olasi to a, to a place called Onger mm. And uh, from Olasi to Onger is also uh, almost 40 kilometers. Mm. Then this my brother uh, get tired. He took a vehicle mm. all the way to our Chodo. Mm. Then he left me here because I, I, I got no money to, to, to journey with him over the, uh, by the vehicle. Mm. So... Uh, I told him that uh, the, uh, the home. So God willing, he also travel and reach that place. By the moment I was uh, arriving at that place in the evening, mm. uh, uh, I found him when he already uh, arrived. So, mm. uh, I, uh, at uh, Aurachudo, I also. Uh, we take some bread, some refreshment, then we took our journey on, on, uh, on that was on Monday. Mm. From our, from our Chodo ad, uh, uh, up to Ndewa, we also trek. Mm. It's also around, uh, also the same, 40 kilometers. Mm. It's a, a long journey. So, yeah, quite a yeah. long journey. That's quite a long journey. I do not know every single place you've mentioned, but I can, I can just imagine of Migori to Ndewa. I'm imagining of that. That's quite a distance. I've been able to drive that distance, and it's a long distance. And even if you are driving or riding a motorbike, it's quite a bit tiresome. Now, you are saying that you indeed left home like two weeks ago yes. or rather one week ago I'm not sure but you left like not on the very day of the camp meeting you started your journey about seven days before the real day so that you could be able to come and listen to the Word of God is yes. that what you're saying yes. and interesting enough um, you're saying that you are joined by another brother who equally didn't have enough funds, and we are not appealing for any funds here. We are simply trying to share how much the love of truth can const constrain people to do some things. Yes. I shared with you about my story when I was actually trekking all the way from uh, a place called Ranen all the way to a place called Suneka in Kisi to be able to do a um, uh, 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 farming to support the missionary work, you remember. And that's why the, your story kind caught my attention because I have been preaching here in the work camp meeting. And when I heard that there is a brother who has trekked, or brothers who have trekked all that distance to come and listen to the truth, I was impressed to take your testimony. Yes. 
and I did baptize you. What is this truth that you loved so much that would actually cause you to travel this far? Uh, I was impressed with the message. Uh, actually, uh, when I was in the meeting, that was of last year, and uh, I attended, I happened to attend it, and the message which I received, which impressed me to accept the message, is the message of one true God, Man. the message of country living, and the message of true education. Praise God. Yes. So, brother, right now you told me that you, you actually left um, Tanzania, isn't it? Yes. You left Tanzania and you've been in a place called Mwanza in Tanzania and you're trying to establish yourself there. I'm not sure how, how you're establishing yourself there, but you had to leave that place to attend this meeting again yes. about a month ago. Yes. That's quite a dedication, brother. And I'm really praying that God will bless that dedication in an amazing way. Yeah. And I don't know what you'd want to tell the people who are listening to you right now, encouraging them um, uh, about uh, making decisions and doing everything to seek the truth and to remain in the truth. Because this is an amazing, uh, this is an amazing testimony. People, people, people can track looking for food, but. Hey, tell us, uh, as you were traveling, uh, trekking to this place, I mean, were you having food, lunch, or something like that on the road? I have nothing. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's, that's, that's huge, my brother. All that distance, no food. Hey, that's, that's, that's really a, a great sacrifice for the cause of God. And um, so that, that was on Sunday. And so what about your sleepover? What did you do? We was uh, sleeping from uh, when we are at our, at our church, though. Yeah, you had uh, a friend there or something like that. Yes, we have a friend there. All right. Uh, whom we are also sharing with uh, the word of God together. Great. Yes. Great. So, uh, what about Olasi? I mean, did you call it Olasi? What yes, was that? Olasi. You had a friend there. Yes, uh, at Olasi, uh, I, I have also a friend there. Mm. Uh, we were once with him. Uh, we, uh, we are sharing with him the word of God, but uh, the message of uh, which I received, that is one true God, true education, he has not come to understand, but still we are sharing with him the same. You told me that you people have been able to share this truth and you have been able to gather a few more people who are able to worship the true God. Is that true? Yes. Praise the Lord. And you are looking forward to not only have them worship the true God, but worship Him in truth and in spirit. Surrender their lives to God. Give their mind, their affection, their will, their every desire to God and give up the world. That's a great thing. And we are praying for them. And I remember you were asking me if I could, one of these times, be able to visit that group. And, and I'm, 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 I'm impressed. I, I would decide to do that. That's really an amazing to do a two-day trek for the sake of the truth. May the Lord God in heaven bless you. What message do you have for people to encourage people who are, who are perhaps hearing this? Okay, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> only to encourage my brethren in Christ to mm. stand firm. Mm. Uh, because the fight which we are in is not our fight but it is for Christ. Yes. The, the, uh, we only need to stand firm mm. with the message whether we, 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 we have that strong, we, we, we be strong in the faith, love of Christ and uh, also having that courage because in the end time as we are, we are seeing, it is not easy to stand with our faith. We are, uh, we, we are being looked for in order to surrender our faith. So only to encourage our brethren that we need to stand firm. We need to stand firm with our faith. We pray more for Christ to strengthen us because we can do nothing without the princess of, of, of Christ. So brethren, let us continue standing firm with the, uh, with, 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 with the faith that we have, been, we have been called so that we end this sinful world history so that we enter into the canon or the new jerusalem amen
Amazing brother. I'm so thankful for your wonderful testimony and I hope that you'll share it today with the church or some of these days when we'll be having social meetings. God bless you and keep you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless every watcher, every viewer for this opportunity and we hope that you'll be encouraged. Zadok Bonde. Thank you, brother.